guys, did the right person win tonight? Because my mom, my dad was there, yeah. my team all the way from Korea was there as well. We, we, had we do that. We we uh, diminish people's like you know versatility and like and, and love of, of music or art, the arts in general or anything. And I thought it was so cool that you came from Oklahoma and then you ended up just dominating this competition. <laughs> 안녕하세요, 원다입니다. You guys, did the right person win tonight? 이 질문은 알렉사가 쟁쟁한 미국 가수들을 제치고 우승했던 날 밤. 아메리칸 송 콘테스트의 진행자였던 켈리 클락슨이 레드카펫 행사에서 미국 MBC 엑스트라 TV 기자로부터 받은 질문입니다. 우승자가 이미 발표된 이후 그 사람이 적임자였는가 라는 질문은 우승자 입장에서 보면 꽤 무례한 질문일 수 있는데요. 이런 무례한 질문이 나온 이유는 알렉사가 한국 소속사에서 활동하는 케이팝 가수인데다 미국에서는 인지도도 거의 없을 뿐만 아니라 케이팝이라는 장르로 우승을 했기 때문일 것입니다. 즉 미국 최고 히트곡을 뽑는 미국 가수들끼리 대규모 경연대회에서 K-POP 가수가 K-POP이라는 장르로 미국에서 우승자가 되었다는 사실을 받아들이기 힘들다는 뜻이 포함된 질문이라 할수 있는데요. K-POP은 그저 미국의 일부 매니아들에게만 인기 있을 뿐 대부분의 미국인들에게는 그렇지 않을 것이라는 생각이 깔려있기 때문에 나온 질문일 것입니다. 다른 진행자였던 스눕독도 미국 이 뉴스 기자로부터 비슷한 질문을 받았는데요. You found out the weather. Are you surprised at all? 이 또한 전혀 예상치 못한 가수가 우승한 것이 아닌가 라는 의미를 포함하고 있다고 할수 있습니다. 두 진행자의 대답이 꽤 흥미로웠는데요. 먼저 켈리 클락스는 적임자라는 게 사람마다 주관적이다. 그 가수에게 투표한 사람들에게는 그 가수가 우승해야 할 적임자다. 알렉사를 좋아하는 사람들이 정말 많다 라고 말했습니다. 즉 기자의 질문 의도를 단박에 파악하고 현재 미국 음악 시장의 변화를 받아들여야 한다고 말했던 것이죠. 스냅독은 충격받았다 라고 말하면서도 무대 위에서 알렉사의 모든 퍼포먼스는 정말 대단했다. k p o 은큰 장르이고 팬들의 많은 지지를 받는다. 라고 대답했죠. 90년대 미국 힙합 황금기를 이끈 아티스트로 평가받는 스눕독은 과거로부터 꾸준히 k p o 에 대한 관심을 보여왔으며 여러 k p o 스타와 음악 작업을 함께 했었는데요. 그날 아메리칸 송 콘테스트 레드카펫 행사에서 BTS와의 협업 계획을 공식적으로 밝히기도 했습니다. 하지만 기자의 질문 의도를 알고 있었기에 어쩌겠어요 라고 말하며 최고의 사람이 최고의 노래로 우승했다고 느꼈다. 미국인들의 투표로 그녀를 뽑았다 라며 받아들이기 힘들어도 현재 미국 음악 시장이 그렇게 변했으며 그게 현실이니 받아들이라고 말한 것이죠. 이렇게 미국에서는 케이팝 가수가 미국 노래 경연대회에서 케이팝의 장르로 쟁쟁한 미국 가수들을 다 제치고 우승을 차지한 것이 꽤 충격적이었던 것 같습니다. A K-pop singer from Tulsa wins the first ever American Song Contest. 25-year-old Alexa won over America. The Oklahoma singer moved to her mother's homeland of Seoul, Korea after high school to pursue a K-pop career. After having several hits there, she decided to bring her music stateside. Alexa's unlikely musical roots really fascinated everyone. Originality, being from Oklahoma. Yeah. Like, come on, K-pop, Oklahoma. I did not see that coming. You guys, did the right person win tonight? I mean, that's subjective for people, but the right person won is in like who voted. Yeah, because like, and, and Alexa's awesome. I was, I've been telling everybody, like, I actually knew about her because my niece is into K pop. So beforehand, my niece was like, oh my God, I love her. And like, so she's got a really strong fan base, and that's where America's vote really does. You found out the winner. Are you surprised at all? Uh. I was shocked, but at the same time, she had great performances every time she hit the stage. Um, K-pop is a big genre. Her fans supported her, and she's a great performer. So it is what it is. You know, I feel like the best person won, the best song won. It was appropriately, you know, judged. Jury gave their votes, and then America came in and did their thing. Alexa's winning song will now play on iHeartRadio stations nationwide. She also gets to present an award at the Billboard Awards. 우승 후 알렉사는 미국 MBC 켈리 클락슨 쇼에 첫 출연해 아메리칸 송 콘테스트에서 우승한 소감과 비하인드를 밝혔었는데요. 켈리 클락슨은 모든 예술가들이 비교하는 것은 사과와 오렌지를 비교하는 것과 같았다 라는 말로 다른 장르의 미국 가수들이 예우하고 그들의 자존심을 세워주면서도 알렉사가 우승해서 너무 좋았다. 왜냐면 우리는 우리가 다 안다고 생각하는데 그게 아니라는 것을 알렉사가 보여주었다 라며 미국 음악 시장의 변화를 인정하고 받아들여야 함을 다시 한번더 강조했었죠. 알렉사 역시 모든 아티스트들이 자신들만의 맛과 묘미를 가지고 있어 누굴 우승자로 선택하기 어려웠다. 솔직히 딱한 명만의 우승자라고 뽑을 수도 없었다. 라며 압도적인 점수차로 우승했음에도 불구하고 
미국 가수들이 존중해주는 겸손한 모습을 보여주어 감동을 안겼습니다. 또한 최종 우승을 거머쥐었던 감동적인 순간과 한국에서 함께하고 있는 그 팀으로부터 받은 응원을 생생하게 전했습니다. 함께 보시죠. Back in March, I paired up with Snoop Dogg to bring a version of Eurovision Song Contest here to, this, to the U.S. It was an amazing show. Um, and for the past few months, we've seen incredible artists from all 50 states, five U.S. territories, and Washington, D.C. Um, and it was just really cool to see everybody representing all these different territories or states that you maybe didn't know a lot about musically or culturally. And the songs were incredible. And I've loved seeing so much diversity in the genres and all these artists. And a couple days ago, a jury of their peers and you, America uh, crowned a winner. She seemed unstoppable from the start with her song Wonderland. Um, here is Oklahoma's K pop queen, Alexa, in her winning moment. That means Oklahoma is the first ever winner of American Song Contest. Congratulations to Alexa and Oklahoma. The Billboard Music Awards Sunday, but we have her here now. Everybody say hi to Alexa. <laughs> so is that, were you just like so floored? Did you think, because there were so many talented people there mm -hmm. and there was, it was like apples and oranges, like comparing exactly. all these artists. Exactly, yeah. I mean, even from when just the first qualifier episode started, yeah. everybody had their own little like flavor, their own little spice to them. It was yeah. kind of hard to choose, you know, who could win. Everybody could, it was anybody's yeah. game, honestly, but. With that whole result being announced last night, it was just so emotional because my mom, my dad was there, yeah. my team all the way from Korea was there as well. We had someone from Germany fly in from our team. It was just very <sighs> emotional. I love it. <laughs> Through that moment, you found out you won American Song. I was shaking. My family, my staff, and I were all holding hands, and my mother, bless her heart, she was just kind of shaking next to me out of nerves, and I was shaking. And then when they called the number of points we got, I was lost for words. I was truly lost for words. But you know, you don't know for sure yet because there were still other states left. And then when those got revealed and I was revealed as a thought person, I just I just burst into tears and my mom was just holding so hard to my arm and she started crying and it was just I'm so grateful to have my staff and family members and friends that were on that bank camp with me. I know I, I told you this uh, the other day on the carpet and uh, when we were after the show um, talking to all the photographers and, and, mm -hmm. and the news outlets and everything, but it was funny because the very first text I got about this show <laughs> was from Shelton yeah. that I work with on The Voice, and, and he was like, there's a girl singing K-pop from Oklahoma. And he was like, he was like, wait, what? And that's what I loved about it. I thought it was so cool, especially you winning, because I think we think we know mm. what every state is like and every person in it and what they listen to. And like, we we do that. We we uh, diminish people's like, you know, versatility and like and, and love of, of music mm -hmm. or art, the arts in general or anything. And I thought it was so cool that you came from Oklahoma and then you ended up just dominating this competition. <laughs> the performance is incredible. You're voice is incredible the dancing was super cool anyway thank you for being just such a positive influence for for everybody out there but also just such a fiery performer that really inspires other performers that's what i thought was so cool all you artists were so supportive of each other thank you it wasn't like you were fighting just who was better you were really so like like dancing and singing yeah. everybody was cheering everybody on it was a really cool vibe yeah thank you so yeah. much Kelly. congratulations thank you get sleep <laughs> I was fine. thank you well thank you alexa <laughs> 켈리 클락슨의 말처럼 많은 사람들에게 긍정적인 영향을 주고 다른 아티스트들에게 좋은 영감을 줄수 있는 공연을 보여주었을 뿐만 아니라 여전히 케이팝의 영향력을 받아들이지 못하고 있는 미국인들에게 케이팝의 글로벌 위상을 다시 한번더 일깨워준 알렉사가 참 멋있습니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다. 원대였습니다.